Lang sub-region is made up of nine districts including the city of Lila. The region consists of 1,288 kilometers and of these, 1,097 are unpaved leaving 190 paved which are under the mandate of the Uganda National Roads Authority. With flood waters from Lake Choga receding, different rivers have cut off roads in the region, making them inaccessible such as Chagwerewere, Agwatakachung, Adokunambieso, among others, which has made it difficult for people to access some services. Yeah, but by opening that, it yeah. saves Kampala and oh, the rest, oh, yes, yeah. but it hurts us. Challenges of rising water level, which has affected a number of our roads, like uh, those ones which have been highlighted. The local leaders here argue that Langosa region is a gateway to other regions of the country, hence insisting that roads need to be worked on. Farming is also practiced majorly around Lake Yoga, River Nile, Lake Kwania and wetland areas. All these agricultural products are not only sold in the local uh, markets but supplied to the surrounding regions and exported to neighboring countries. This can be a justification for our roads. According to the statistics from the road sector, the region's coverage of the paved roads stands at 3%, making it one of the lowest regions with tarmac. But as far as the national road work is concerned, from the total of 2,100 kilometers that have been paved in the last 10 years, Lango sub-region has only 3% of the total paved road network. So the 152 kilometers of tarmac are only present in four out of the nine districts and one city with, with Lira district having 58.8 kilometers. For, for quite some time, uh, the road network in Laos sub-region in the whole country had the least density and uh, this has been alluded to by the Minister of Works. So there is still a big call to get more money to tarmac. The national roads before we even think of tarmacking the other roads. During the visit by the Minister of Works and Transport, as well as the Executive Director of the Uganda National Roads Authority, on the different roads in the region, they agreed with the regional leaders that the region needs to be given more attention in terms of the paved roads. So, Honorable MP, what we are going to do, I'm, I've already talked to my team, they are going to come, assess that road, even if we may not be able to have the money to tarmac it, we shall do what we call low-cost seeding for now. However, since the biggest chunk of the roads is unpaved, union officials say they are doing the maintenance of some roads, including Abako Dokolo, Aki Aloi, Lira Boroboro, Abako Amogu, Teso Boda, among others. Includes Abako Dokolo Road, 27 kilometers. On, uh, on our first day, we traveled on this road, and I think most of you appreciated the condition. Meanwhile, the Tororo Mbale Soroti Dokolo Lila Kamdini Road has a contract already, though the delay of the start of the construction has been brought about by environmental challenges observed by the World Bank, who is the funder. Other roads in the pipeline include Renkunya Apache, Apache Lila Pulang, among others. Jumakiria, NTV.